How much scope will there be for aggressive monetary easing following an opposition win in Japan this weekend? And how much lower can the yen go because of this? Yeah, in our view, I think it's highly likely that it will, there will be a further monetary easing. But we only expect a moderate increase in easing uh, after the election. And this is because we think the Bank of Japan will be pushing back the political pressure and it will continue its current uh, incremental approach uh, in terms of policy, probably until uh, next April when the new government is coming on board. So uh, our expectation uh, suggests a, a potential disappointment uh, regarding the pace of yen decline. So we forecast the dollar yen will get back to 81.5 uh, by the end of this year. But we still forecast a, a weaker yen next year toward 85 by the September next year. Beyond the election, what other factors are going to drive dollar-yen? What direction will it go in? I think very importantly, it, it is the gap between the U.S. Uh, versus Japan bond yield. We think the U.S. bond yield will start to rise into 2013, and that probably will be drive uh, yen weaker. So that, this is one of the uh, major reasons that we expect a weaker yen into next year. It's not necessary because of the monetary policy in Japan, because the U.S. is also uh, having its quantitative easing, which is probably stronger than the uh, Japan's monetary easing. In turn, you're seeing more risk appetite for Japanese assets, namely equities. Which sectors? Uh, we are currently neutral on Japan equities versus our benchmark. But we still expect uh, pretty good returns from selected uh, Japan equities. Uh, of course, the monetary policy easing will be helping. If, if the monetary and fiscal policy prove to be much more aggressive and the yen is much weaker than we expected, then uh, the, the market will have a bigger rally. But other factors will also support the Japan uh, Japanese equity as well. One of our themes for next year is that we expect a cyclical recovery for the global economy and that Japan will stand to benefit because the market is well represented by cyclical stocks. So we will focus on leading exports in technology and the industrial sectors as well as the buying the companies that will benefit from government's effort to reflate the economy such as the banks or real estate sectors. Assuming this cyclical recovery has a positive impact on Japan, how soon then before Japan gets out of its technical recession? I think uh, Japan's economy is clearly struggling and it is unlikely to recover uh, until next year. So we think uh, the global economy, a recovery in global economy is the main driver for the Japanese economy. But we also note that uh, uh, although the economic, economic backdrop for Japan is pretty weak, uh, recent data also shows that uh, it is at least not getting any worse. So we think uh, the early next year, in the first quarter, there probably will be a recovery uh, coming for the Japanese economy. But the major downside risk for Japan is its territorial dispute with China. If there's any further escalation of this dispute, then the Japan will suffer.